What is going on YouTube fam? I'm Say Blake here and today we're talking about my uh, Polaris Boost Delivery. So yes guys, I desperately need a shave and a haircut, but I did get some news on the Boost. Um, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel or just meeting me for the first time, I have a 146 uh, Polaris Boost Assault ordered as shown to the right. I went with the orange and the yellow color. I believe it's called Neon Burst. Um, I saw it on the computer, fell in love with it. And then over the last couple of weeks, been going to different events and they've had them there and just love it 10 times more in person. It pops, it's gonna look good on the snow. As far as options go, I think I only got like three or four paid options. It's a pretty expensive snowmobile as is, but I did get the electric start, obviously. I got the RCA cable. If you're not a, a goggle helmet type of person, I definitely recommend the heat advisor. Uh, it works incredible. If it's 30 degrees and raining or if it's negative 30 and one breath just makes your whole thing fog up. I like my round helmet. What made you get one of them puppies? Really makes your snowmobile riding a lot more enjoyable and less of a hassle um, being able to see and not fog up with every single breath. So I recommend the heat advisor. As far as the most pointless and expensive option I got, I did get the heated seat. Uh, talking to a bunch of people that I know, friends that have boosts or new Polaris ordered, whatever. Not one person has a heated seat, so I thought it was, that was kind of unique. Um, it, there is no reason whatsoever that I need a heated seat. I think this kind of stems from my childhood. I'm a gadget type of person. The more buttons, the better. I want it to look like a freaking spaceship. So I think that the heated seat gets a little separate button on it. I had a heated seat on my SRX that I sold back in May. Um, I hardly ever used it. We had a lot colder over winter last year. Um, a bunch of nights we were riding, it was negative 20, negative 30. And I did use it then. However, it's not something you need. I'm just a gadget person. I like buttons. Shiny. So if you're like me and you have a new Polaris, Boost, 9R, whatever ordered, and you have just been frantically hit and refresh, looking at all the social media pages from Polaris, the Instagram, Facebook, hitting refresh on your email, waiting for some type of news. Um, I was at work the other day, just doing my once a day, checking stuff out with Polaris. And I always go on my account on the Polaris Snowmobile website. And I don't know if it was a glitch in the system or what happened, or if I wasn't supposed to see it, but I always check the online orders tab. I don't know if that's even where the snow check information is gonna populate, and I don't think it is, but I check it anyways. I just go through the whole page because I like looking at snowmobiles. But the other day I was looking at it and under online orders, it also had a vehicle tab or vehicle orders tab pop up that I had never seen before. Um, I had to do something quickly at work, so I exited out. And then once I came back to the website, it was gone. It got me thinking. Um, I reached out to Polaris directly just to see if they can give me any insight, just kind of shooting in the dark here, just want, wanted to see anything on my new snowmobile. So I shot him an email. Hey, this is Blake. Um, I have a boost order. Is there any way you can give me any insight onto a ship date, delivery date, or just any snow check information whatsoever? Um, took about 20, 30 minutes. They fired right back. Yes, absolutely. Give us your order ID number, uh, a couple other things. So I, I gave that to them. Another 20 or 30 went by and they sent me this, guys. Yes, it is looking at the moment under my order as a January 3rd to 15th ship date. Big, big bummer. However, I am going to say something quickly. If you have seen anything surrounding Polaris with the recalls and the updates, it's kind of been a firestorm. I just want to put something out there quick. I have no animosity towards Polaris whatsoever. None. Like, I know that a bunch of people are like, this is a lot of money for a snowmobile. How could you do this? You promised us all this. Guys, I have no animosity towards Polaris whatsoever. If I, I obviously I'm bummed and I'm kind of aggravated, but it's just at the situation itself. You know, it's more of just like what happened, not who caused the type thing. Polaris is doing the best that they can, you know, and that I was definitely reassured on that front, especially going to the events that I have the last couple of weeks, talking to these people. They are doing everything in their power to get us our snow checks. I know this is a lot of money for a snowmobile. Personally, I have never found that, you know, complaining and writing comments uh, helps anybody in any way. So that's just kind of how I roll. I still have a lot of faith in Polaris. I'm still super excited for the snowmobile. But yes, at the moment, it's looking like a January. No freaking clue why I keep saying January 15th. It's the January 3rd to the 13th. No idea where the 15th is coming from. Just disregard that. It is what it is. Something on that note, um, this is kind of looking like a replay of last year. And last year, you know, a bunch of buddies of mine that have Polaris's ordered, they were told the same thing. It was originally, even at this time last year, during fall, they were told January 3rd through the 13th. I meant to say the 13th. 13th ship date. 
And what ended up happening was I knew a bunch of people that were told that and they received them like the second or third week in December. So they came early, no notice. And I also had a couple of buddies that got theirs, like it said January, and then they got them in February. So again, this is gonna be some people get lucky, some people get unlucky. This is just my opinion. Nothing is set in stone. It could change in a couple of weeks. Players did say with the finalization of this recall that they are gonna be updating all of the snow check statuses on the website uh, by the end of October. So we, we are gonna, f even from now to then, there could be some things that change for the better or worse. Um, I'm gonna be following it like a hawk but it is what it is. I'm, I'm still staying hopeful. Polaris freaking got faith in you. And I'm just really, really excited about this boost. So what does this mean for content on my channel? I just wanna reassure you guys that we have so much crazy stuff planned. I don't have a snowmobile right now. I know this is crazy. This is the first time in my life I do not have a snowmobile in the garage. As far as this channel goes and how I make content, um, I'm a doer, not a talker. I don't like even like giving hints or uh, A, I like kind of making things a surprise and B, I'm not the type of dude to talk about things before they even happen. I want confirmation or in my possession before I even like say things. But I'm not going to say who, but I, I do have a loaner uh, 850 in the works uh, until the boost arrives, especially when the snow flies. I need to be able to trail ride and make content with my Upstate Sledders fam, Upstate Zach, Bell, and Travis. Can't wait to ride with those guys. We definitely have an 850 in the works. I don't know if it's going to be a Polaris or Skidu yet, and I don't even want to like say it as a confirmation, but I do have it in the works to get the riding content out there. The next thing I will say is I have put a couple offers on Facebook Marketplace triples this week. No, I'm not just looking for any type of triple, guys. You already know me, I've said this a million times. I grew up as a cat guy. I grew up sitting next to the drag strip on the ice watching Articat, ZRTs, Hoopers go. So what I am specifically looking for, if you have one and are looking to sell it, send me a DM. I don't have five, ten thousand $10,000 to blow on a triple right now. But, you know, two to $4,000 range probably can make it happen. I am looking specifically for a, Z, a 99 to 2002 ZRT 800 or Thundercat 1000. I don't care if it's modified. I don't care if it's race only. Guys, just send it to me. The worst I could say is no. I am. I have made a couple offers on some trail triples this week, and I'm super excited. Nothing on earth beats the sound of screaming triples. So I do need a trip on the channel. Even if I don't end up buying one, which 99% sure I will be. Um, you know, you guys have seen Jagger a million times on the channel. He's got a ZRT 800 in the works, you know, for us to make some content with. So I'm super excited about that. Either way, we're gonna get some good triple content. I'm hoping I can buy one so I can build it up and do some crazy stuff with it. And I'm not gonna give too much away on that front, but we do got some stuff in the works, possibly a drop in motor. We're trying to just, pump it out for you guys, give you something fun to watch. On this last one, I am also looking for a five to $600 beater vintage sled. We got some really funny video ideas, working with Jagger, working with Upstate Sledders. You know, I've got a ton of people that just want to make good content and are willing to help and it means the world. So yes, we might potentially have three or four snowmobiles uh, this season, unrelated to what the Pops has going on with his drag sled. So really, really excited. I think that this is gonna be an incredible winner, regardless of the boost. Yes, I will have a trail sled to ride. We're taking delivery of the boost. We're gonna get a triple and we're gonna get a vintage beater just to send off a cliff. So long story short, guys, we are in for one heck of a winner if everything works how it's starting to get planned. So really appreciate your support. Stay on the lookout for some more upcoming content. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next video.